Hey guys, I'm finishing up this order. I thought it would be a good time to kind of show everybody how we do our baits here at Stillwater. So we just heated this up. We're finishing up a run of Stanks Bait Co. 3 inch swims. It's a silicone hand pour. Silicone open pour, sorry. We're doing the belly color. So anytime we do a bait, it gets vacuum chambered. Um, something like this where I've only got a certain amount of cavities, it'll, this will get vacuum chambered multiple times. Um, we just want to get most of the bubbles out, uh, have better clarity and better durability in my opinion. You got a bunch of bubbles in there, they're connected, you get one rip and it rips the rest of them. Um, so all of our baits, all of our plastisol gets vacuum sealed. Um, and we're always trying to do better, so anytime we hear about something new, or not new, but something that works more efficiently or gets a better bait made we're into it so now we use a uh, toaster oven on all of our silicone molds so this mold sits in here it heats up to I try to keep it it's under 150 you guys can see where I'm at right there and I bet you this thing's like 170 degrees 164 so you know we keep it um, I want to keep it around 100 to 150 silicone will break down at a certain temperature so I don't want to go too high so they all get vacuum chambered and then pour these little bellies right here. Um, looking at the bait, not the phone, so you guys might get the good angle and you might not. Hi, meet the production crew, <laughs> cameraman. This wasn't really planned. I was like, hey, I'm making these baits. I should do a little video. So I don't have the camera set up. So we just poured our bellies. And then, while I do the tops, these will go back into this. This is a pretty cool toaster oven. It's got a stay on feature to keep warm. So I can set my temperature on keep warm. And there's a griddle under here if you want to make pancakes or heat up an aluminum mold. So it's, it's really got a dual purpose. I haven't tried it for heating up an aluminum mold, but the griddle's right on, above that. So I'm, I assume that it would work. Might take a little longer than that, which we use for our aluminum molds. But anyway, that is so we don't get cold cracking. So we get even heating of the mold when I use the heat gun. Sometimes on these smaller molds, it's kind of hard to get down into the tail like that. Um, and you get really hot spots and cold spots. I let that sit and it, it gives me a uniform heat. So I'm sure the whole mold is um, is warm you start doing these big ones and even on the belly you'll get um i don't even know where they're at you'll get cold cracks i've got a couple of them sitting around here somewhere here we go right there i don't know if you guys can see that but that's a cold crack so even though it was just the belly the mold was cold enough that the plastic all cracked you can't put silicone molds in the microwave so toaster oven no more cold cracks all right i'm gonna heat up the top and we will be back in business all right so our belly just came out of the microwave i stirred it up a lot got flake in there so i really want to make sure it's all together <clears throat> and then after i degas it i i don't stir it with the knife anymore i swirl it with the cup that way you get your glitter back up to the top. It wants to sink in the hot plastic salt. Um, get your glitter back up to the top so you're pouring somewhat consistently as far as where your glitter is. See, I really, I whipped it pretty good. So like I said, that's, this has been degassed twice. So if you're like me and don't have a lot of molds and got to do multiple pours, it's really important to degas multiple times so that your glass of salt does not look like that. Like I said, I feel like the bubbles affect durability and clarity. So let's take this in. That's probably about 270. Yeah, 266. Running out of belly. Yeah, if you do laminates like this, you will always run out of your belly before, or your top before your belly.
I feel like these smaller baits are harder to pour, so I end up going very slow and sometimes having to reheat my plastisol. That's another reason I like to heat the molds up with the toaster oven. In fact, with the smaller ones, it gets really easy. I'm gonna run it for another 10 seconds. Really easy for it to gel up and give you an incomplete tail. And it really sucks to run 40 baits and look down your table like that and see five or six undersized tails. So I always like to make sure my plastic saw is good, good and liquidy. But practice makes perfect. See, already under. Yeah, 320 is not bad. Smidge higher. Another good point part about the toaster oven is I don't have to keep going back with the heat gun to make sure that it's all hot. I can just, these are, yeah, 130 plus. So, just like heating an aluminum mold on the griddle. This is a great way to keep your silicone molds nice and warm so that you get good bonding, you get full tails. Whoops, way over poured that. Real, real bad, <laughs> I had to redo that one. But, and then, <clears throat> I'm not used to doing this with one hand. I put them back in the toaster oven for 10 minutes. And then I let them cool down naturally. And this is the one, these are the ones I did right before. And they get a five, they'll take a five. I like five, um, sometimes the six can be a little too big seeming. It depends on, I guess your pour CS so got a little bit over pour on it, but um, the five fits right in that eye hole. So, but it will take a six if you want that really big, that big, big fat eye like that, um, where it looks oversized and kind of bait fishy. It will take a six. But there you go. That's how they, they turn out. That's the Stanks Bait Company 3-inch swim bait mold. It's not the step tail or anything like that. It's just the, the slick bodied swim. Um, it's a fun mold. We've got two of them. It's challenging. These smaller baits are hard. You know, something like this, it's a little bit easier. Um, even stuff like that. But you get into like the... Uh, Epic Pud's got a kind of a close tail right there, and you get into some of these other ones. Uh, it can get a little challenging to get full tails. It's fun though, practice makes perfect, right? Um, just make sure, if you're not sure, you're not selling them to your customers. But hey, if you guys are in the shop, be safe. If you're on the water, stay safe in tight lines, and we'll see you back soon.